Calculate cash and flow from debtors from the following information. Now students, the information here includes credit sales of rupees 2 lakh, bad debts are 15,000, discount allowed 5,000, opening debtors 14,000, closing debtors 25,000 and sales return of 10,000. Remember students, we can clearly see here that there are no opening balances for bills receivable or closing balances for bills receivable. Since the balances are not there, this account will not be prepared and we will straight away move to preparation of debtors account. So total debtors account, again remember this account is in T format, we will have a column for particulars and amount, and particulars here, amount. Now students, opening debtors are 14,000, so to balance brought down, opening balances 14,000. Then we have closing debtors of rupees 25,000, so by closing debtors or we should write it as by balance carried down. Obviously, this is closing debtors or closing balance, which is given to be 25,000 here. Now, students, I'll mention here as opening balance. Let us look at the other information. Credit sales is given to be 2 lakh. So we will write here on the debit side to credit sales rupees 2 lakhs. Then we have bad debts. Bad debts means the amount of debtors which are not paying now. So this is a loss. This leads to reduction in the amount of bad debtors. So by bad debts. 15,000. Then we have discount allowed. By discount allowed, 5,000 rupees. Opening debtors we have already done. Closing debtors we have entered. Then sales return. Sales return would be entered on the credit side. Sales return account, amount is 10,000. So now students, let us total this out. The total on the debit side is 2,14,000 and the total on the credit side comes to 20, 30 and 25, 55,000. So we can calculate the balance as in the normal account, 2,14,000 minus this total that is 55,000. So whatever is the amount would be written as by cash and this is collection from debtors. This would come to be 2 lakh. 14,000 minus 55,000 which is 1,59,000. Remember this 1,59,000 is the balancing figure and it would represent the amount of cash collected during the year. And while preparing this account, you must remember to write credit here and debit here as this is debit side and this is the credit side. 